So we've had the first half of the Grand Prix from London Olympics and after 25 horses of the 50 have gone through we see Carl Hester with Utopia, the beautiful brown gelding that's uh, presented like a beautiful show hack and moves across the ground so easily with a great frame, easy contact is winning on a 77.729 very closely followed by Another Brit in Laura Beckelsheimer on Mistral Horges, 76.83. Uh, very good test as well. Maybe a little bit underridden, being a little bit cautious. Um, Alf, as he's known, was uh, really good in the arena today. Sometimes first out at big competitions, he's a little bit fresh. Gets a little bit strong, but not at all today. He was fantastic. Third, Dorothy Schneider on Diva Royale for Germany, the first of the Germans. In first and second, both British, so uh, the team's looking pretty strong, but only one German today and uh, for the team, and Dorothy Schneider's it. Uh, Black Horse, it was really good. Maybe a little disappointing, the extended trot, um, and maybe a little bit lazy at times and lacking a little expression, but quite correct, quite rhythmical and even. For me, one of the highlights was to see Dom Perignon with his new rider, and uh, in fourth place at the moment on 60 76, I should say, 0 0.289, uh, despite having to do her test in the pouring rain, absolutely torrential rain, Don Perignon was an absolute star, an absolute trooper, and did a fantastic job. I think the Piaf has improved, the basic regularity throughout the entire test, and the consistency was super. Next was uh, Salonero for Anke van Grunsven, and for me, I think she was uh, marked fairly severely. I felt the test was truly hers. She really rode with great finesse. She had a very good feeling with Salonero, and every movement was very beautifully controlled and absolutely in the way that she wanted it. The Piaf and the Passage transitions in and out were seamless. Uh, he was a little more relaxed than he has been in the past. He halted at all the right places. I can't believe he only got such a minor score, but still... I wasn't judging it, I was sitting here watching it on TV with a glass of wine in front of the wonderful television coverage. And uh, so, Salonero in fifth place at the moment, closely followed by a horse that uh, Anki trained to Grand Prix, painted black, now in the hands of a young Spanish girl on 72.7. A super test, a little bit open in the frame, really relaxed, but really forward and active. In the past, I've seen painted black be a little bit lazy, but he certainly wasn't in the arena today. He was consistent from the beginning to the end. Then for Belgium, Donafrey, a really beautiful mare on 71.7. .7, really active high legs, really elegant, really modern type of horse. Then Clearwater for Vanna, Anna Van Olst, who was first out. 71, Dabellino for Annabelle Volkenhall on 70.9. A little disappointing. The horse was quite tense. He sweated up quite a lot. Despite having ears on and being led into the arena, he was still a little bit nervous about his environment and got a little bit strong and a little bit worried. So uh, as a consequence, the marks came tumbling down. Also, uh, some great moments, but lacked a little consistency. A few mistakes dragged the marks down. Our two Australians, Linda Lotley with Sandro Boy, uh, really good job. She uh, did some great work, and I'm sure she'll be very pleased to have that one under her belt. Uh, a score of 69.377, just that magic 70% just eluding her again. But still, she'll be really pleased with fantastic half-pass. Really, really good in the half-pass, fabulous marks, and a good balance throughout. At times, maybe, he was a little bit up in the neck. He could have been a little bit rounder and a little bit better over the back. But I'm sure, first time in the arena, a little bit nervous, a little overridden, maybe, at times. Um, but still, really, really impressed. And Lindor was really really good in her attitude towards writing the test no mistakes really concentrating made it look easy i think by the look on christy oatley's face she was a little disappointed with her test with clive but still for me uh, a 68.2 wasn't certainly wasn't too bad and uh at as the test went on he he got a little bit hollow and a little bit um not really well connected into the bridle and the last end line in the Piaf and Passage, it was a little bit weak, a little bit hollow, and uh, the marks came tumbling down. So it was a shame that there were f some really beautiful moments. The last extended trot was great. The balance in the pirouettes, not too bad. 
Uh, maybe in the Piaf he gets a little bit closed and in the transition out of the Piaf he finds it a little difficult to keep his balance. I'm sure it'll get better in the next test. Uh, I know Chrissy looked a little disappointed, but still, it was a good job and a great test under great pressure. I know the, it's been difficult getting to the Olympics. It always is. And uh, to be there and to get the first test out of the way is um, onwards and upwards for the next couple. Of course, Lewis Hill was there, 66.28. Quite a good job. And uh, really, it was a, a, a good day's competition all around. I think the marks were a little bit conservative and probably mirrored a little bit conservative riding. Uh, we think that because of the Olympics, they're going to go better than they've ever gone. But it's not the way with the atmosphere and being a little bit cautious, being a team's competition. Everyone wants to keep a clean test and keep it as, as neat and tight as they can so they're not going for broke. They'll build it up as the next competition, the special, and then in the freestyle they'll let rip. So it's uh, shaping up to be a great day. I mean, the winning horses, 77.7, 76.8, 76, 76, 73, it's pretty good considering the better horses tomorrow to come. So um, all in all, a great day's competition, great atmosphere. The judging looked quite good. Um, we can always criticise the judging. That's part and parcel of the sport. But uh, um, for me, I love Don Perignon. I loved Utopia, Mistral Horges. I really like Painted Black. I really enjoy Utso. Um, there was a lot of fabulous work, and uh, we can take bits and pieces out of everyone's test and uh, get a real buzz. They're all champions. They're great horses. They're doing their very best, and we look forward to tomorrow with great enthusiasm because it'll be better horses, and uh, we'll see how we go. Um, I hope you enjoyed today, and I hope you enjoy tomorrow even more.